Tonight at 6, lawsuits have now been filed against the city of Indianapolis and IMPD following two deadly crashes at the end of police chases. Both lawsuits say IMPD's chase led to someone getting killed. Rich and I has been going through these lawsuits all afternoon. And what'd you find, Rich? Well, those lawsuits go after the city of Indianapolis, IMPD, and the officers involved for compensation and damages and relief. The victims and their families claim that IMPD failed to develop and implement proper policies on high, on high speed pursuits. Police pursued Jose Lopez for suspected drunk driving in October 2022. Police say Lopez rear-ended another car stopped on Michigan Road at 71st Street. The car driven by D'Angelo Peden caught fire. Peden suffered serious permanent injuries. One of his passengers was killed and another injured. The lawsuit filed by Peden alleges the actions of the officers were reckless and posed a high risk of danger to the suspect vehicle, other motorists, and pedestrians such that they acted with gross negligence. The other lawsuit stems from a police chase on the evening of July 7th last year. Rodney Spells fled in a pickup truck. Spells drove south in the northbound lanes of Keystone Avenue, hitting a Kia head on. The driver, Warren Morphis, died instantly. His adult daughter's lawsuit against the city accuses the officer of engaging in a pursuit when the risk of death and injury to the general public exceeded the benefit of apprehending the suspects. Jose Lopez goes to trial in April for the 2022 alleged drunk driving fatal crash and Rodney Spells was convicted in October for the head on fatal crash and is serving a 26 year prison sentence. And I contacted IMPD this afternoon and they said they do not comment on pending litigation. All right, Rich, thank you so much. And you can find details on the chase policies for IMPD and Indiana State Police. It's at WTHR.com.